Um, one thing I really love about Creation Homes is this whole window system, but the washing machine you'll find most likely in the bathroom. Ceiling fans really are rare here. And then you can just keep adding embers as needed. Hi everybody and welcome back to our channel. I'm Sarah, a Canadian expat that's been living in Croatia for the past nine years. I remember when I first moved to Croatia, I noticed many little differences in the homes here versus there. And over the years, I've noticed many more subtle differences. So this week we're gonna take a break from the travel videos and I'm gonna walk you through some home differences in Croatia versus homes in North America. So if you're visiting, you might pick up on a few of these too. Um, and if I forget anything, feel free to leave a comment below and let me know any differences that I might not have mentioned. Okay, so one of the very first differences that you'll notice if you come into an apartment building um, is that an apartment unit inside of a building doesn't have its own number, so you wouldn't say that you're on such and such address, apartment 5C in a certain building. You would say that you're at such and such address and then first floor, last name, Chosic, or whatever your last name is. So instead of numbers, each unit has only a last name on the front door, and that's how it works here. In Canada and the States, there aren't usually names on doors, but instead a unit number on each door. Okay, so next difference is the door. The actual front door is much thicker and much sturdier than homes in North America. Um, front doors in North America just seem a little bit flimsier than, than front doors here. Um, there are bars that are built within the door that connect to the side, so it's just, they just feel a little bit more secure. Uh, another difference about the door is that most doors here have door handles instead of door knobs. I know that in North America, most doors have door knobs and these all just have handles throughout the apartment or throughout the house. Each door will be a handle instead of a knob. They just don't use knobs here. For comparison, here's my nephew Luca in Canada. He's gonna help us out with a few shots around his home for this video. So first he's showing us his door in comparison. This is the door knob that I open my door. Okay, so when you enter an apartment, especially all of the older buildings which fill the downtown of different cities, um, you'll usually walk right into like an entrance hallway and then all of the rooms will just be connected to the central hallway here. You won't walk into a home and then you'll be immediately in the living room, kind of like how things are more open concept nowadays back in North America. Things are still very much compartmentalized, at least in the older buildings. I think now things are also becoming more modern and it's more modern to have like an open concept also here in Croatia. Um, but most of the buildings downtown are older buildings and they're all set up this way, very compartmentalized. So that's one difference you'll notice if you're staying downtown here in an Airbnb or something. Um, one thing I really love about Creation Homes is this whole window system. So first, how they open is great. You can just turn the handle and open it up fully. Both sides can open and you just have a big open space to get a lot of fresh air in. Um, if you want a little bit of air in but not too much, you can turn the handle up and pull out and it just kind of lifts it out a little bit. So you don't get as much air, um, but it's just a nice, nice draft or, or breeze going through. Um, another thing that I love about these windows here, <laughs> uh, another thing I love about these windows here are the shutters that are on the outside. It is such an amazing system. Um, here I'll show you. If you just pull back this string, the shutters on the outside of the window can go completely down, really blocking off any light so you can have a completely dark room which is great if you have young kids that are still napping in the middle of the day you can just make it black out in a pinch and it's super super easy if you want a little bit of light in they have these holes in between so it can let just a little bit of, of light come through so you're not in complete darkness um, but it's just super simple and it's on the outside so it doesn't um, affect any of the inside design or anything. Um, it just is on the outside, built in this mechanism, and it shuts the light right out, which is just genius. Um, you don't have to worry about blinds or anything. Uh, this one strap really 
does the trick. Okay, um, one final difference about the windows is windows here typically do not have screens. So it's just right out to the outside. Whereas in North America, I think that about 95% of all windows have screens on them to keep the bugs out. You can buy screens, of course, but most people don't bother. Um, they're available, but most homes just don't have them. This is how we open all windows in Canada. So these ones are quite typical in Canada. They kind of crank out a little bit just like that and then you can crank them back in. Then of course there's always a screen. This screen doesn't let the bugs in. If you're enjoying this video so far, we'd really appreciate a thumbs up. It really helps our channel grow and we'd be truly grateful. One big difference that you might notice right away are radiators in every room. So the way that creation homes are heated is much different than how the majority of homes are heated in North America. So um, here there are radiators in each room. There can be multiple radiators if it's a larger room um, and that's how the space is heated. Whereas in North America, it's very common to have like a central system that blows up from the floor. So here Luca is showing us the furnace in the basement and that is connected to these air vents on the floor that you'll find throughout the house in each room. And that's my niece Sienna, she's helping out for this one too. And what comes out of there? and that's how homes are heated there. And that's also how the cooling system works, of course, in North America. So the same place where the hot air would blow out in the winter, the cool air will blow out in the summertime. So everything is connected in one central system. And for cooling homes here in Croatia for air conditioning, they use separate units in each room. So whatever room you want to have AC, you would have a separate unit installed on the wall and then that would cool off each room as you need it to be cooled. I think maybe it's more energy efficient this way in Croatia because you're only cooling off the space where you are um, instead of the whole house when you're only in one section of the house. So uh, that's the difference in heating and cooling in Croatia. One last thing related to heating and cooling are ceiling fans. So in North America, ceiling fans are very common to have in bedrooms and living rooms just to get some circulation going. Um, I love them, but here in Croatia, they really don't exist. I don't think that Croatians love a lot of drafty air blowing on them. Uh, so ceiling fans really are rare here, I would say. One big difference in the bedrooms are that bedrooms here in Croatia don't have closets. And I think every bedroom in North America almost has a closet. So um, instead we have wardrobes in every bedroom. Um, bedrooms just come empty when you move in somewhere, four walls and that's it. So you have to buy a wardrobe to store your clothes. Um, that's the one difference and that's one thing that I miss about North American homes. I like having a closet, but it's okay. Wardrobes do the trick. Luke is going to show us his closet for comparison. This is my closet where I keep my clothes. One difference that's pretty common here in Croatia is people usually have a single sink, not a double sink in their kitchens. This is the sink where we wash our dishes. And I think that's just for practicality because kitchens are a bit smaller here. Most people live in apartment buildings um, that are you know, smaller size on average compared to something you'd find in the States or Canada. Um, so just for space wise, because counter space is so valuable, people usually have a single sink here instead of a double sink. But you can buy a double sink here if you want, of course, just most people tend not to because counter space is so valuable. One of the differences in the bathroom is that usually people will have their washing machine right here in the bathroom, um, just because it's not common yet here in Croatia to have a separate room to keep your washer and dryer. And that's the other difference is a lot of people don't have dryers here. So you'll find a drying rack and then a washing machine. And usually you'll put your drying rack either on a balcony or somewhere where you have some space. But the washing machine you'll find most likely in the bathroom. This is where we plug things in for electricity. Another very minor difference are the plugs. They differ in appearance and of course, voltage. 
One outside difference to homes in Croatia versus in Canada or the States is the way people barbecue. Usually in Croatia, you would first make a fire to produce some hot embers, and then you'd use the embers to put underneath kind of a grill rack, and the heat from the embers would cook your food. And then you can just keep adding embers as needed if you need more heat. Typically in Canada or the States, people barbecue on a big barbecue like this, and that's connected to a propane tank, which gives you an instant flame, and then that's what cooks your food. So in Croatia, it's much more of a process to cook your food, which people just really enjoy that whole process here, and things are just a lot quicker in Canada or the States. One more difference outside of the home is that houses here in Croatia typically always have fences around their front yards. In Canada and the States, usually there are no fences around the front yard, so one property just kind of blends into the next. Only the backyards really have fences. So that's about it. Of course, these are all generalizations. Every home is different, every apartment house is different, um, but these are things that I've noticed throughout the years of living here and visiting many different houses in each place. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please do give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos all about Croatia.